amazing, isn't it? The first snow in Ghana. Hi, so thanks to AI, it is snowing in Ghana for the first time ever. If you want to learn how to create AI videos like this with Veo3, then watch this video to the end. So like I mentioned in my last video, this video is going to be a tutorial for Google Flow. If you haven't seen my previous video, click the link in the description to watch it. So first of all, we are going to go over to the Google Flow platform. And for this video, we are going to use both text to video and also frames to video. But we are going to start with text to video. Usually what I've noticed is when you run out of credits, you're given almost about 400 credits after um, it renews. So I think for now I have about 400 credits. So you're going to click on flow, click to start a new project. And that's going to bring you here. We are going to select text to video. And I pasted the script, which I wrote very simple. And I'm just going to complete the script so that I can go ahead with the generation. So once you're done with your script, click on the settings. Make sure you select view three. Google has introduced a new version, which is the view three with audio, but a faster generation. I still like to go with the quality or um, video because I, I want the best audio and video. So you select that and then you go ahead to click it's going to take about 100 credits and take some time so we're going to leave that and switch over to gemini the gemini platform also is pretty good for view 3 video generation i like it because it sometimes gives you different versions of the video you want and it's best best sometimes for just individual videos if you want longer videos i'll show you how to do that with the flow platform so this will also take about three to five minutes after you paste your prompt you let that generate and then you will get back to it so the video is ready and let's compare what we had from gemini and then flow so we'll start with um, gemini first and see what Hi, we do so thanks to ai it is snowing in ghana for the first time ever let me show you how it was done Hi, so thanks to ai it is snowing in ghana for the first time ever let me show you how it was done so the first one was from gemini and the second one was from flow so we'll continue with the flow tutorial so as you mean you created this video and you want to continue and make much longer scenes flow is the best place to do that because gemini sometimes would change the characters and stuff like that so you go ahead so here's how you do that so you want to click add to scene and then once you click add to scene you're going to come down to this timeline and the trick here is to drag the playhead to the last frame of this video and then once you get there you're going to click on the plus sign what happens is it's going to add a frame to your assets it's going to save a screenshot of the the last scene of the video which you can use to generate the next frame so what you're going to do is you're going to click on it after creating that and then what you're going to do is come down here that is your first frame as you can see over there and then now you can add your prompt what I like to do sometimes is to take the first prompt I used and then modify that a bit so that it's able to flow. So in this case, I took the first prompt I used and just changed a few things here and there as you can see. And then changed the final output, added a few things to it. Try to keep it simple because I've noticed sometimes too when you make the prompt too complex, it gets things mixed up completely. So just try to keep it very simple. Go ahead and then generate your video and then we'll leave that to generate and then we'll come back to it later on so that's going to take a while to generate as you can see down here um, it's going to take a while to generate the second screen but it's going to add that it's going to give you that sort of continuation of the clip as you see shortly so it's done and you can see that if we move the playhead back and we play from the beginning this is how it looks like it goes from where we first started and then it moves over to the next scene so you see a bit of a, um, a junky movement but what you can do is you can always edit that part out for that section but you can see that from the video that it flows compared to um, doing it in Gemini you can see that you're able, you're able to continue so if you drag the end of the clip like I just did you'd be able to trim that part off and then now you have a very a much smoother video that continues onto the next clip so this is good for people who want to create much longer form content for social media or for youtube so that's basically how to get that done 
with view okay so we're going to do the same thing to generate the third scene as well one other thing about view that you need to keep in mind while i add the prompt is that sometimes the audio doesn't get generated when you generate videos it happens often you lose credit and you'd probably have to regenerate again so get used to that don't um, feel like it's um, something that's your fault and sometimes too it switches from view 3 to view 2 so make sure to check that when it's done just click on the download button it will take a while and as you can see in this clip i didn't get the audio that i wanted for instance you know so that happens in my next video i'm going to show you how to create 3d animation like this i cannot believe i was created by a prompt if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel it encourages me to make more videos new videos every week